one here it is it's time for another cooking with a message and I have a super simple salad recipe for you and it's not like a lettuce salad it's a creamy salad but I'll tell you more about that in a second I'm in the book of James and I'm on chapter 5 starting on verse 13 here's what it says is any of you in trouble he should pray is anyone happy let him sing songs of praise is any of you sick he should call the elders of the church to pray over him and anoint him with oil in the name of the Lord and the prayer offered in faith will make the sick person well the Lord will raise him up if he has sinned he will be forgiven Therefore, confess your sins to each other and pray for each other so that you may be healed. The prayer of a righteous man is powerful and effective. A few years ago, about 20 years ago as a matter of fact, I was pregnant with our middle child, Nicholas. And I went into preterm labor at four and a half months pregnant. And I had to go on bed rest for the rest of the pregnancy. Now during that time, people brought meals to us here at the house and they would send, say special prayers for us and I would get cards in the mail. And when we had our third child, Daniel, I went into preterm labor at seven months pregnant, had to go on bed rest and the same thing happened. People brought in meals, people prayed for us. I got cards in the mail and when I had my accident, Almost two years ago, I had to go on bed rest again because I couldn't do a lot of things. And once again, people prayed for us, brought food over, visited when they could. And I was so blessed. My whole family was blessed by people who offered their love and their care and their support. And one of my favorite things to do is turn around and do the same for other people. So I'm actually going to do that today. I'm going to share a meal with a friend who's going through a kind of a rough time right now. And so I'm going to make a special salad along with my porcupine meatballs, which I have already shared with you. And I'm going to make um, mac and corn casserole, which I don't think I've done that one for you. I should do that one sometime for you too. But I'm going to make my porcupine meatballs, my mac and cheese corn casserole, and this very special salad because I want to shower them with love and let them know that I care about them and that I'm praying for them and that all that they're going through is a momentary affliction and sometimes momentary afflictions are a little bit more than momentary they last a long time and they're going through a rough time and so I just want them to know how much I love and care for them and how much I love and care for you as well. So let's pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for sending us people in our lives who love and care for us and provide for us and remember us in our times of need. May we be ministers of you, servants of you, to help each other. In your very precious name, amen. Okay, so this is a recipe that was brought to us whenever I was pregnant with Nicholas and had to go on bed rest. So simple and it's so good. So super easy, just a few ingredients. So I have um, one container of Cool Whip and it's just the regular size, I can't read what, eight ounce. So I'm gonna dump this into a bowl and this is just a dump and mix. So I'm just gonna put the Cool Whip in and you know, I love to keep these containers because I use these containers for anything and everything. I don't like to throw these containers away. And to this, I'm going to add one cup of dry roasted peanuts. And I'm going to add one eight ounce can of crushed pineapple. Don't drain it. Just to add the whole can of crushed pineapple to it. Juice and all. And then I have three cups of Granny Smith apples that all I've done is chop them up into pieces and I left the skins on. I cored them and then I chopped them into bite-sized pieces. That's going in. 
And then I have a four ounce box of butterscotch pudding, instant pudding. Is this getting weird or what? Goes right in. And now the last ingredient is mini marshmallows. Now this, you can tell this is just a fun salad. It's not that it's so good for you, but this is gonna be dessert, because I'm not making a dessert for them. This is, this is dessert. So, um, just made me, uh, it was just one of those things that, uh, recipes that came, and I loved it so much, because I couldn't have a lot of sweet stuff, because I was gestational diabetic, but I found that this was a salad I could actually tolerate, and it wouldn't make me sick to my stomach. So I have one cup of mini marshmallows, and that's it. Now all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna mix this up, and I'm gonna put it in the, the container, I'm gonna take it to them in, and I'm gonna put it in the refrigerator. And it's ready to go, as soon as I get it all mixed up. Now the name of this salad is called Caramel Apple Salad, and it tastes like caramel apples. It is unbelievable how yummy this salad is and how it really does taste like caramel apples so if you like caramel apples oh my goodness you will love this salad <laughs> i'm just mixing and it's ready to go so i'll get this all whipped up here get the big thing is getting all the butterscotch pudding mixed in because you don't want um, to find a big glop of powder somewhere but it's Super simple, and it looks like it's good to go. So that's it. Right there. Caramel apple salad. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. It's ready to go in the container, go in the fridge, and ready to go to my friend's house. Love you guys. Have a great day. Serve others. Be kind. Be loving. Be generous.